Welcome to this quick tour of Curio's user interface. This is Curio Professional, which may have some features not found in the standard or core editions, but the general interface is the same across all editions. Let's begin with a typical Curio project document window. Think of a Curio project as the digital version of a real world project or project notebook. Create a project for a new client assignment, or to manage your notes and research for a class, or to prototype a new website, or perhaps to manage a vacation to Hawaii. Your Curio Project Notebook can hold everything. You create a project using the standard File New menu item, and projects can be saved anywhere you wish on your hard disk using the standard Save command. The pages of your Project Notebook are called Idea Spaces in Curio's lingo. Here, in the main content area of the window, you see the current Idea Space. It can contain all sorts of figures, including notes, lists, maps, images, document files, tasks, and much more. This area here on the left side is called the organizer, where you can create, rearrange, indent, color code, and delete your project's idea spaces. You can also group idea spaces into folders. At the top of the organizer, you'll find your project sections, which are akin to notebook dividers in a real-world notebook. Essentially, independent divisions, each containing their own idea spaces, primarily useful in larger projects. Along the top of the window, you'll find a standard Mac toolbar. The Projects button gives quick access to creating new projects or opening a previous project. The Add button is used to create new idea spaces in your organizer. The Drawing Tools palette gives you quick access to text, line, shape, and brush tools. The Insert button is used to insert new figures into your idea space. Or you can use these direct access buttons to jump to specific collection insert gallery. Use the Share button to share your project, selected idea spaces, or even selected figures in a variety of formats. The Present button will begin a slideshow presentation of your project. Use Sleuth to bring up Curio's handy research assistant to perform quick internet searches. And lastly, this group of buttons controls what you see in this shelf area here on the right side of the window. By default, an inspector shelf is displayed, which shows the attributes of the current idea space or selected figure with properties organized into neat tabs. Alternatively, you can use the handy inspector bar located just under the toolbar to bring up inspector popovers, which can even be detached. The shelf area has several other abilities. Use search to find items in your project using powerful text and meta attribute queries, such as incomplete tasks or tagged items. The Library Shelf has lots of features. Under Project, you can view and search for document assets you've added to the current project. The Local tab uses Spotlight to quickly find files located anywhere on your local hard disk or within a Curiota collection, assuming you have the amazing Curiota Companion app installed. Under Stencils, you will find bundled or personal reusable figure stencils, which you can drag into your idea space. Under Sleuth, you have handy quick access to research on the internet. You can optionally hook up Curio to your Evernote account to allow for easy searching and access to your notes in the cloud directly from within Curio. Lastly, the status shelf allows you to track the many tasks and assignments you have due in your various projects. As you can see, Curio has many, many features. To learn more, we encourage you to check out the handy Welcome to Curio project accessible via the Help menu. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments.